Contra Shattered Soldier is a remarkably odd game. On the surface, this is an action fan's dream. I mean, it's got the bombast, the testosterone, over-the-top set pieces, insanely creative boss fights, big guns, bigger explosions, brutal guitar riffs. It's everything you could want in a game bearing the big fiery sea. But beneath a thick layer of shrapnel and flaming debris is the truth that Shattered Soldier is so rigid in his design that it's more like a puzzle game masquerading as a run-and-gun shooter. Well, let me ask you this. Do you like running to the right and shooting dudes? Well, I've maybe got some bad news for you. Shattered Soldier is a game with a very unique vision, and it successfully justifies and delivers on that vision. It amounts to an incredible action game, but not really a good Contra game, though still leagues better than the two that came before it on the PS1. It's a game that I personally highly recommend. It does what it does very well, but what it does ain't for everyone, and after I break it down, you'll know pretty quickly which camp you belong to. Contra Shattered Soldier came after the series' lowest point. One of the most iconic franchises of the 8-bit and 16-bit era, it made perhaps the worst transition to the polygonal third dimension. After dual disastrous PlayStation 1 games, Legacy of War and C the Contra Adventure, Konami made what was probably the smartest decision, at least back when they made smart decisions, and moved production back in-house and put Nobuya Nakazato, director and producer of Alien Wars, Hardcore, and Rocket Knight Adventures, back in charge. And he was the man for the job. Full 3D was out. But the era of 2D nostalgia hadn't quite arrived yet, so levels and enemies are still polygonal, and move, transform, barf, and explode in real time. The number of large, complicated in-game assets is really something. Better still is the dynamic shifting camera. Like, first you're over here, and a minute later you're looking this way, and then you're over here, but it's always fixed. Your movement is always side-scrolling, always two-dimensional. This was 2002, this was the PS2. It was a smart way to make Contra modern while keeping it true to its roots. The franchise had one of the most ungraceful and then graceful transitions into the polygonal third dimension. Nakazato also brought back two-player co-op, Bill Riser, dozens of references to the series' pixel-based glory days, and continued the story from Alien Wars. Guns feel heavy and powerful, explosions hit big and burn bright. Mr. Silent Hill himself, Akira Yamaoka, took a break from composing the music and sound of that series to deliver a fantastic metal and electronic soundtrack for Shattered Soldier, even if it could have used a few more allusions to classic Contra songs. At first glance, it looked like the nightmare was over. The big C was back and better than ever. At least that's what it looked like, but director, producer, designer, and scenario writer Nobuya Nakazato has something wilder in mind. Shattered Soldier is a very well-made game, but if it has any problems, they lie in its gameplay philosophy. This is a very structured game, almost completely devoid of spontaneity and randomness, instead demanding rote memorization and rigid trial and error. I've heard Shattered Soldier referred to as Boss Rush, the video game, and that's as apt of a description as I could think of. The back of the box even boasts that the ultimate run-and-gun shooter is here, but there really isn't a whole lot of running unless you count those brief moments between the boss fights. For example, level 1 starts with a short jaunt up a hill, and then a boss fight. And then a short climb up a wall, then a boss fight. And then another short jog to suddenly snowboards out of nowhere, fuck yeah! But then a boss fight. Then shimmying on some pipes to one last boss fight, which, by the way, is actually two boss fights. Nothing is ever recycled. Each boss encounter is a new enemy with a new set of attacks, movements, and weak points. Nothing is given to you. And while each encounter plays out the same way every time, you have to fight for every victory in the most bullshit difficult way possible. And this is how the entire game is structured. Those classic Contra moments of playing it fast and loose, thinking quick on your feet, are so brief it's almost criminal. All this talk about how it blows the lid off traditional action games and is for deep action gamers feels almost dishonest when bearing the namesake. I mean, sure, the controls are great, the graphics are great, enemy and level design is great, music and sound effects are great, but 90% of this freaking game is boss fights and stupid hard boss fights. Nakazato and his team worked hard to trip you up at every possible turn, forcing you to learn and modify your behavior for the next go-around. But it works! And it works because this game doesn't compromise on its vision, but still manages to make itself accessible. That is because Shattered Soldier never goes full Battletoads. And as you all know, you never go full Battletoads. There are four things that save this game from being a totally unfair mess. 
Part and parcel to Shattered Soldier is the hit rate percentage counter. Each level has a series of bosses and set pieces, and this is how they are all made meaningful. The goal of the levels is not just to complete them, but to achieve a high hit rate at the end, with 100% awarding the coveted and elusive S rank. The real challenge comes from figuring out how to achieve 100%, not just to beat the bosses, but to destroy every piece, even if it means fighting for longer. Not just to survive waves of grunts, but to seek out the special ones that count. And the final kicker? Avoiding the penalty for dying and continuing. Oh, what's that? You got 100% hit rate, but you died twice? Sorry. We don't award the S rank to chumps. Chump. If this doesn't get the completionist lizard part of your brain going, then it at least makes each separate moment count. This is how the rigid structure becomes addicting. It doesn't take long before you start memorizing levels like the back of your hand. Every grunt, every boss fight, every attack, every platform, how to avoid damage, which gun to use. To echo what I said earlier, each encounter is a puzzle with a very specific solution. Now you'd think it'd be a lot to memorize, but levels are actually kind of small. It will take a few continues, but I'd say three continues tops and you've got your sea legs. Each level has about the same amount of beats, the same amount of bosses. To memorize the entire game is an endurance, but that's a realistic thing you can work up to. And that takes us to our next point. You know what would have helped Battletoads? A level select. Man, if I could have just practiced the turbo cycle without having to play through the first two and a half levels every goddamn time I got game over, Shattered Soldier's set pieces never get that crazy, but hey, sick to death of level 1? Well, jump to level 2, or 3, or 4. And just imagine if you could have said, enough with these turbo cycles, I'm gonna jump over here and see what's up with these big ass worms. The ultimate goal of Shattered Soldier is to get that 100% S rank on each level, but there's nothing saying you gotta do them all in order. Plus, consistent high grades are how you unlock the 5th, 6th, and 7th levels. So, right out of the gate, you have over half the game's levels at your fingertips, but you have to earn access to the other three. Nakazato and his team understood that allowing players to take a break from one level would ease off the monotony and justify the ball-busting difficulty. Huh. A stage select to stave off burnout. Shit, Mega Man figured that out 15 years earlier. But Mega Man didn't give you the tools for the job at the start. And what may be the most controversial aspect, Shattered Soldier does not have weapon drops. The game's three guns are always on your person. But think about it. This is actually a brilliant move. What's basically the only tactic for a Contra game? Get the spread gun and don't lose it, right? And what's the backup plan? Live long enough to pick it up again? Boss fights might be bullshit trial and error encounters, but you've always got the tools for the job. The game wants you to figure it out, and gives you everything you need to succeed. Three guns with three charge attacks for a total of six weapons. That's it. Also, no bombs. That would be cheating. At times it feels diabolical, like the team really gets their rocks off screwing you over. If I haven't made this clear enough yet, this game is pretty goddamn hard. But it's never too daunting. All of this comes together to form an incredibly unique action game, but one that feels more like a spin-off as opposed to the tentpole entry to the franchise was marketed as. It's a downright eccentric game if you compare it to Neo Contra, the follow-up, which took things in a way safer direction, but with mediocre results. In fact, I'd say skip Neo Contra and check out The Red Star. You'll thank me later, trust me. Now, for my money, the classic Contra formula was never better than the Alien Wars on Super Nintendo. People who are wrong claim Hardcore is the best, but that's still a fine Contra game. In fact, Hardcore almost feels like a true prequel to Shattered Soldier, but honestly, if you're already a fan of this game, you should instead check out Nakazato's other masterpiece, Rocket Knight Adventures. It's structured almost exactly the same. Most of these other games I just mentioned aren't available digitally, but Contra Shattered Soldier is available on PSN for a couple of bucks, so if you're looking for a game with self-confidence to burn, and what might burn your self-confidence by the time it's all said and done, look no further than Contra Shattered Soldier. Thanks for watching, this is a Patreon supported show. Big shout out to all my Patrons, you can look at their names here. Your name could be here too if you want to go check the Patreon and help support us there. Or just keep watching, there's also liking and commenting and subscribing, that stuff. There's more videos, there's social network, there's a live channel, check that out. And we'll see you again real soon, thanks again for watching.